What's up Diva fam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously you can tell by the title down below. I feel like I'm like not in the right, there we go, um, in the center. <laughs> you know by the title down below we are doing another Boxer Charm unboxing for this month. This is actually my second box I've gotten for this month. If you want to see the other video I'll have a link down below for you guys. Um, but also in my subscriptions I also do giveaways but for this month I'm going to be honest there's probably not going to be a giveaway for this month because I am still backtracking in Vlogmas. Not everyone has claimed their prizes yet and I need to figure out secondary winners because I want to make sure that those prizes get homes. So um, I will definitely keep you guys um, informed and what is going on. Definitely make sure I reach out to the right winners and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, even the person I'm supposed to send the, the gift card to, I don't think they've reached out to me either. So like there's like the easy stuff. Like I don't understand. I like I people just weren't paying attention to my YouTube videos and if they won and then I have time to time to go on to other people and it's just like a constant a little bit of a headache. Because at this point I'm like I did my part. I'm, I, I claimed all the winners. I have made sure that everyone, I contacted you in the best way that I could, obviously, on YouTube through your comment. You get a notification for it. It goes in your little bell that I said that you're a winner. And you just have to contact me. That's all it is. As simple as that. I already have four girls that have already received their prizes, and they're out. The other one I need to, this coming weekend, on Friday, I need to send out the one that needs to go international across the pond, um, because that one's just going to be a little bit more costly, so... Again, anyways, jumping into this video, we're talking about BoxyCharm. So you guys, um, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and jump into this and talk about this. I was about to do my outro, but you guys know the gist. If you like videos like this, this video a big thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl, Senior D. And let's just go ahead and jump into this. All right, anyways, so what is in this box? Well, for you guys who haven't been here before, I post videos two, two to three times a week. They are beauty lifestyle makeup videos. Obviously, I do a subscription unboxing as well. This is our BoxyCharm Premium for this month. Next month, I believe, no, it's not Lux because it's like Ipsy and Lux are both off on off schedules. So next month will still be base box and premium box. And then going into that, after that, we will have... Um, I think the Lux box will come in March. But next month in Ipsy, it is the Glam Bag X. So they're kind of like on off months. Anyways, right off the bat, I can tell you how good this box is going to be. Just by opening it up and seeing these products that are sitting on top. There's a big item at the bottom. I have no idea what that is. This is the card right here. So we'll set that off to the side and go over what we have right here in front of us first. So again, BoxyCharm Premium. Right off the bat, we have a Dominique Cosmetics right here. Dominique's Unconditional Palette. It is a six pan palette, eyeshadow palette, um, and it has some really pretty shades. First off, the packaging is always A+. plus. I love her designs. I love the thick, the thick plastic that is in it. And then this is what the shades look like. Now, they are very super pretty. There is a press glitter that is in here for us. I do own a few of her other palettes that I have tried out or that I really, really do love. Um, I have yet to try this one out, though. This one was like the one she came out with last year. It is the Dominique Cosmetics Moments palette. Um, it looks like this. It's super pretty. I also do have her Latte 2 palette. Um... And I think that's it. I think those are the two palettes that I have by Dominique Cosmetics. I thought I had three, but the other one I have is this one, and I love this one too. It's the Latte Dominique Cosmetics palette. Super duper pretty. So pretty. Um, I have been using that one a lot recently, so I've definitely been getting some use out of this one, or out of that one. These ones look really pretty, but I feel like I have shades like this in my collection already, um, and I feel like I would be very... Um, I don't know. Just to keep it, just to keep it. Oh, the mo there's a little quote on the inside. It says, "Love the moments you'll cherish. You'll cherish the mo the memories." That's really cute. Oh my God, there's more. And then it says, "Oh, just let it's the same quote over and over again on the inside." So that is this. I'm assuming this is kind of like going into like Valentine's Day theme. So there's that palette right off the bat. Now we have a serum. You guys know how much I love serums. I use like so many ridiculously. I have one, two, three, four, four different serums that I use every single night on my skin. 
Um, and I love the way they feel. This is a really good one. It says straw it has strawberry sea brightening serum. It with Avec vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. It's by the company called um, Volition. V O L I T I O N. And it says beauty is what you make of it. And then this is what it looks like. I will say though that it's not full all the way. Like I know you still have to put the dropper in and obviously you're going to have product, but there's still more room they could have filled this up with. So very interesting. Um, but again, I love serums. I go through them like crazy so easily. So I will be keeping this one for sure. So I'm going to set that off to the side. Then we have a few other products in here by some more well-known brands. We have an Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Canyon. Okay. And it looks like my type of dark shade. Definitely for sure. So it uh, does have a glossy, like, satin type of finish. So that's really pretty. Definitely loving that. Then we have a mascara by Uma Beauty. It is the Salute the Sun. And it is their Drama Balm Extreme Volum Volumizing Mascara. Um, it just says lift, lift up your gaze with the explosive and volumizing yet nutri um, nourishing mascara infused with three essential oils jojoba oil ho oh my god jojoba oil castor oil and avocado oil to ensure your lashes stay nourished as they are glam suitable for use on short lashes as well because I got short and floppy lashes and yeah so and this is in the shade chem so it's, I don't, is it supposed, is it blue? No way. Is this a blue mascara? I'm going to be very upset about that because I don't want a blue mascara. No, it's black. I thought it was going to be blue and I'm like, the packaging, you're throwing me off here. So it does kind of have that better than sex wand, that really like bristly wand. Um, so I'll be excited to actually try that out. I already opened it, so we might as well just go ahead and put it behind us. Um, and try it out. Then another name brand we have in here is by Item Beauty, which normally we get Item Beauty a lot in Ipsy because it's a um, under that umbrella kind of area. Um, but obviously it's owned by Addison Ray, but Ipsy is like the the money backer of it all. She's just like the name in front of it, but also helps put it together. So this is a Item Beauty gel pencil. This is in the shade brown. I definitely love a good brown pencil but I will say it is just like a typical like sharpening pencil and the way that it was sharpened was not good as you can see so I've been sharpened right off the like the whoever did that like do you see how weird that is like ninnies anyways it is a really nice brown shade so that's cute Love that. Definitely want to try and get use out of that for sure too. So I'll add that in over here because brown is like the new black when it comes to like doing a very nice neutral look. Instead of using black, you kind of use like brown mascara, use brown eyeliner. Gives it more of like a little bit more sult like sultry, subtle, natural look compared to how brown can be very like, or black can be very like in your face, grungy, dark. So there's that. And then the last item in here. I can't. I can't. Do you see this? Do you see this? It is a full on Ofra palette, but this thing is gigantic. It's like bigger than my head. Um, it is their On The Glow palette. Um, it's the ultimate tool for creating bronzy glow looks. Stunning palette suitable, suitable for all skins, whether you are a makeup artist or on the go beauty or on the go or beauty enthusiast who loves a variety of palettes. Um, is all you need for a radiant glow look. Do you see this? They're six full size. Six full size. You guys know I love Ofra highlighters like so much. This is uh, Rodeo Drive. They also have Rodeo Drive and Blissful, which are their two most popular highlighters in here. They also have the Beverly Hills highlighter, which is this one, the one that has like multiple different shades and colors. Or you can kind of just swirl it all together if you want to. Then they've got three different bronzers which are in here. You've got California Dreams, which is like a triangle of like a light bronzer, dark bronzer, and then, 
and then also a like pinky one like blush at the same time too then there's just the regular americano bronzer and then they have this egyptian egyptian clay bronzer with also a little bit of a highlighter in it at the same time so that is everything we got in here i cannot believe how good this box was like what what um okay so to start off the bat um, that Ofer palette is $149, which is crazy to say itself. So let's just add this up really quickly if I can. I might round up just to make this a little bit easier on myself. So the Dominique Cosmetics is $28 and the serum is $42. So that right there is already $70. Then we've got $20 for the Ofer lipstick. So that's $90. Then the Uma Beauty Mascara is 1950 so we we'll round that up to 20 um so that right there is 110 dollars then the item beauty is 14 dollars so it's 124 dollars and then including 124 dollars plus let's just round up a dollar to 150 um yeah so um so what is that 174 i mean realistically or 173 if i went with a nine you know what i meant um, so 149 plus 124, that's $273, which is crazy. So $273 is what this, what, what this is worth. And I paid, I forget, the premium box is now like 44 something dollars now, um, is what it's gotten to. If my math is wrong, okay, it is what it is. Um, uh, but in general, close enough. I also do have a video coming up. Um, which should be part three of how much I spent in, on makeup in the year of 22. Um, I've done this video now like three times or whatever it is. And obviously the boxy charms and Ipsy boxes definitely is a high price penny that I pay every single year. Because I get all 12 boxes. And I will say this is the first year I've actually skipped Ipsy. Um, so that's a one box shy already for this year. Boxy charm, I don't think I'll ever get rid of because I love boxy charm way more than I like Ipsy, honestly. But I do like the Ipsy curated boxes by like the celebrities or the makeup artists because I think those ones are really, really cool. And BoxyCharm only does like curated boxes by like a brand maybe once or twice a year where they do that like every at least four times a year. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. So this was a really great box, guys. I'm super excited. Um, and yeah, these on their own are normally like 30 something dollars. I think they're like 32, 28, between 28 and $32, I think somewhere in that price range. So for that to be $149, like we got that for a steal and we only paid $44 for this box. Like what? I, I just, I can't, I can't even, like it's so amazing. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about this box. Did you like it just as much as I did? Are you excited for it just as much as I am? Um, again, I do apologize. There's just not going to be a giveaway in the month of January because I'm still playing catch up from December on all of the Vlogmas giveaways that have still yet to be claimed and still need to be shipped out because I have them literally packaged up right here, sitting off to the side in containers with stickers on them or in like bubble wraps with the stickers on them so I can write the addresses, take them to the post office, ship them out and you know and just get them to a good home so again i appreciate you guys so so much you guys know the gist if you like videos like this this video a big thumbs up because it helps me out so so much don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel because you know you want to and don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss a video with me your girl cindy and i'll see you in the next one bye